So let's start our journey through the Azure Airtos workshop. Let's start with the Tradex, so with the operating system part. Purpose of this first session of the training is to give an overview of what we ST make with Amazon Airtos Tradex and our inclusion into the STM32 Cube ecosystem, as previously explained by Paolo. So clicking on the agenda, what we will do? So we will start a bare metal project, so without the operating system initially. So we will make a simple toggle of a LED, and then we will replicate the same behavior, but with the inclusion of the operating system with the Tradex. So we will use our integrated development environment, the STM32Cube IDE, and in particular, its plugin called STM32CubeMX. So we will graphically create the project and uh, set up the peripherals and so on. Then the next part that uh, will be managed by Manuel, we will discuss about the ThreadX. So the feature, the ability to track the thread uh, behavior, let's say. And in the last part of the morning session, we will deal with the optional uh, layer like the CMCs and other features related to the operating system. So additional components like uh, Salman Force Q and so on. Quick chart about link. So we as a ST provide a lot of documentation. You will see here, for example, uh, the link to the GitHub where you have the documentation and also the source, uh, the, the source code. So the, the Xcube Azure, Erto, uh, Azure the Ertos that you have already installed on your PC. There is also a, a link to the what we call um, what we call cheat sheet. So the cheat sheet is a uh, simply an HTML file that you can browse to copy directly part of the source code that we will use during our workshop. So you can use the cheat sheet to copy and then go to the cube either pasting what you have already copied, copied. The first two useful link, very useful link, are the link to the Microsoft uh, documentation. So the link to the Tradex user guide and the link to the Tradex API description. The second link, the link to the chapter four of the Tradex API is very, very, very useful. I kindly ask you also offline to, to check it and uh, give a look to it. 